earthy, primal, swing-tastic. Sultry. Cat's pajamas. I would say it's, it's, it's almost sexual. Grab some air. Romantic. Not that it's like romantic love kind of romantic, but there's a romantic feel to it. Now you've got to swing, swing and sway. You gotta swing, swing, swing and sway. You're cutting jitterbug today. I'm swinging. Stimulating, heartfelt, and it's got a great beat. 23 Skidoo. It's got guts, it's got the, you know, the pain and the, the storytelling that this music originally comes from. It's really just, it's, it's about songs. It's, 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 it's not about musicians. Brilliantly produced collection of 1920s and 30s material. My toes tap. Let's party like it's 1925 till 1935, something like that. Um, I think it's about, it's about let's, let's have a good time. There's periods of jazz, the 40s, I'm really crazy about. I think my original thought was, we'll do this kind of 20s and 30s project, then I'll move to the 40s and 60s, to 60s project. I was thinking of just doing like a quick, you know, historic project. However, the minute I got into this era of music, something kind of magical about the era itself and about the songs, the songs themselves, the songs that I started finding really surprised me and they surprised me in so many ways musically. This is music that harkens back to when jazz was music of the people. It was danceable and it was about songs and it was about reflecting what was going on in society. People writing songs about daily life, people writing songs about their emotions, people writing songs about things that were really highly personal and and funny. Some of them were funny, some of them were rough. There's a lot of rough, rough songs uh, about how women felt about men. I think it's important that we reclaim our history, know our roots, but go forward at the same time. Pre-swing. Uh... This is before that era, I think, that some of this music is, uh, you know, turn of the century kind of stuff. It was the roots of jazz and the roots of, you know, the movement from blues into jazz. This is a little older than what a lot of people do. A lot of people do the, do records of the sort of American songbook stuff, which means 40s, mostly 50s, a little bit of 30s. This music goes back further. I've known Roberta for years, actually, and I think Roberta found herself inside of this music in a very authentic quality. There's something so her about this music, so she's able to be herself 100%. When she starts singing this music, she sounds like somebody from the 20s. She obviously has, has spent a lot of time listening to and learning this stuff and getting her head into that era. So she comes off as if it's natural, as if it was what she grew up with. And that's what makes the music come alive. She really wants you to get the picture, and you get the picture. You know, some singers sing and you never really get the picture. It's all about them and their voice and all this other thing. Roberta understands, you know, you gotta get inside the words, make people hear those great lyrics and those great melodies and feel it. Because these things are all wonderful stories. Roberta captures an era and proves herself uh, an individual stylist. Roberta is just channeling this music because, again, she chose these tunes how they, they relate to her and her life. So even if something's written in 1928, 1932, it's, it, music is a reflective art form of what's going on at that time. But the things going on in that time are the things that are going on all the time in people's lives. I was looking specifically for songs about women or about women in relationships and something that I could relate to as a woman and something that would kind of tip us off into what was going on with women back then. I think the true artist, and Roberta is exemplifying this by looking back at these women that have already blazed a path, is to understand yourself and challenge yourself to go forward. Sometimes going forward means going backwards. Things that would kind of clue us into the history of the time and the history of what women were wanting to talk about.
which is pretty much the same as what they want to talk about <laughs> about now. But the but the strength behind those women and that they weren't afraid, whether or not they wrote some of the songs, that they weren't afraid to really speak out about their relationships and what was going on with the men. And I found that very fascinating.